Welcome to This Week on Xbox. I'm Jeff Rubenstein, Xbox Live's Rubes. Major Nelson is chasing eclipses. Now, this week's news includes a look back on Gamescom 2017, a major Age of Empires announcement, a look at a very special Xbox One X console, and so much more. Let's get to the headlines. Gamescom 2017 is wrapping up this weekend, and as always, there is a ton of great gaming news coming to us from Germany. Let's jump into some of the headlines. Huge news for Age of Empires fans and PC gamers, it's official. The next installment, Age of Empires 4, is coming to Windows 10. This was very much a T-style announcement with very few details. However, something you're going to want to pay attention to is that the game is being developed by Relic, the developers of Company of Heroes, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War, and you know it's going to be in good hands. The excitement and anticipation for Xbox One X has been incredible. When a launch like this takes place, you've got to do something special for the fans, and that's exactly what Team Xbox has done with the Xbox One X Project Scorpio edition. This really came about when Project Scorpio was first announced. You, the fans, really gravitated to that name. You showed enormous enthusiasm with shirts, artwork, and of course those Scorpio emojis. Major Nelson had the opportunity to unbox this beauty, and let me tell you, this thing is awesome. Mm. Wait, how come I don't get the gloves? A couple of pretty awesome Minecraft-inspired Xbox wireless controllers were announced at Gamescom this week, along with a brilliant-looking Xbox One S Minecraft Limited Edition bundle. This console not only captures the beauty of the grass block that we all know and love from the game, but there's even Minecraft sounds when you boot it up. When it comes to the controllers, first we have the Minecraft Creeper, which features the iconic green creeper design. And on the back, I love the TNT on the battery cover. The second controller is the Minecraft Pig, which features the iconic pink pig design and just like an adorable little tail. Both are fun, unique, and feature the technology that you're accustomed to for play on Xbox One or Windows 10 PC. Visit Xbox Wire for release dates and region availability details. Gwent Thronebreaker, a single-player story campaign for the game, was announced this week. This tale will follow a war veteran queen of two northern realms who is facing an imminent invasion. Thrust back into war, she sets out on a dark journey of destruction and revenge. Gwent Thronebreaker is coming later this year, so stay tuned for more details in the near future. I told you not to go inside. Halo Wars 2 showcased lots of new content for the game this week. We got a tease at the upcoming expansion, Awakening the Nightmare, which included gameplay footage from the first campaign mission in the expansion, new footage from Terminus Firefight, and a surprise announcement for the upcoming Complete Collection. And that wasn't all. The new Yap Yap the Destroyer Leader Pack also dropped this week. This grunt brings new units and abilities to the battlefield, along with the silliness that you expect from grunts adding a little bit of humor to the game. For more Halo Wars 2 news and details, be sure to visit Xbox Wire or Halo Waypoint. Keep at it. How about we take a look at new Star Wars Battlefront 2 footage? This trailer shows off a new Starfighter Assault Mode, which will drop you into epic space battles around the galaxy. The highlight of this gameplay trailer has got to be the new hero ships you'll have access to. We see X-Wings, Y-Wings, the Millennium Falcon. Does Darth Maul have a cloaking device? Yet more announcements. Record Definitive Edition was announced this week. The Definitive Edition brings you increased resolution and HDR for an enhanced visual experience, along with a new adventure called Eye of the Obsidian and the T-8NK tank Corbot. You can ride this one. On top of that, there are new weapon modes for Jewel, new gear for Corbots, more enemies, and a host of other updates. Current ReCore players, this is the good news, will receive all of this content for free as an online update coming very soon, August 29th. And if you're new to the game, you'll be able to grab the Definitive Edition as part of Xbox Game Pass membership or separately as an Xbox Play Anywhere game. A monstrous new trailer for Middle Earth Shadow of War debut this week. You need to look at it right now. Do you wither? Tell me. I cannot 
not defeat her. What would you suggest I do? Throw down your sword and kneel. Looking for a way to get your hands on the Call of Duty World War II multiplayer private beta? All you need to do is pre-order Call of Duty World War II and you'll get private beta access. Included in the private beta are brand new maps and an all new war mode experience. The private multiplayer beta begins September 1st on Xbox One. The Destiny 2 launch trailer released this week and includes a completely new look at the game. We can no longer protect ourselves, much less the survivors. We're only a few weeks away from the release of Destiny 2, and this is likely the last trailer we're going to get to see of it. So take a look for yourself and soak it in, Guardian. Personal with go. Put a bullet in his head. Then maybe eat a sandwich. <laughs> if the Red Legion want war, give them war. I am God, and I alone am worthy. Wargaming and Microsoft have partnered together to launch Xbox Live Arena tournaments on World of Tanks. The team at Wargaming have fully integrated Arena into the game, making it easy to compete right from the get-go. You'll be able to jump right on in from your console to create your own tournaments or join with others to prove your tanking skills. User-generated online tournaments begin on August 22nd, with Wargaming-sponsored team tournaments kicking off next month, September 15th. Rounding out the headlines, an announcement of September's Games with Gold, and they are so good. Coming your way in September, Forza Motorsport 5, and one of my favorite games from last year, Oxenfree for Xbox One, along with Hydro Thunder Hurricane and Battlefield 3 for Xbox 360, and of course, playable on Xbox One through the magic of backwards compatibility. Time for Out Now. Madden NFL 18 launched this week with the regular season of NFL just a couple of weeks away. This is the perfect way to get warmed up for the season or maybe start thinking about your fantasy team. Madden NFL 18 is powered by the Frostbite engine, and if you've ever played Star Wars Battlefront or Battlefield 1, you know exactly how amazing the Frostbite engine looks. A highlight of the game has to be the new story mode, Long Shot. You'll play a former five-star high school quarterback who is trying to become an NFL star after taking a few years away from the game. And if that voice sounds familiar, yes, that is Scott Porter of Friday Night Lights fame. This adds a great level of depth to an already fun game, so definitely looking forward to that experience. Path of Exile launched this week as well, and if you're into chaos, buckets of loot, and the most comprehensive skill tree I have ever laid eyes on sounds like the cat's pajamas to you, you're in for a heck of a week. Grinding Gear games may have taken the original inspiration from the Diablo franchise, but they've created something uniquely their own with Path of Exile. The sheer volume of customization is incredible, allowing for far more viable character types and builds than you typically see in other action RPGs. I mean, look at this thing. Path of Exile is also a free-to-play game, and Grinding Gear Games has done a great job of ensuring that all of the game content is accessible for free. And if you're picking up an Xbox One X coming this November, Path of Exile is confirmed as an Xbox One X enhanced title. So hey, monster hunting in ultra high definition, I'll take it. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale series, episode three is out now. This episode puts a heavy focus on the core group of characters, that's why you play, their internal struggles and how that tension is gonna affect their chances of successfully saving the universe. The series has been pretty darn good to this point, so it'll be really interesting to see how it adds to the story. The Escapist 2 is also now available. This is the sequel to the hit Prison Break original that tasks you with crafting, stealing, and brawling your way to freedom. The game features split screen and online play for up to four players in both co-op and versus modes, along with new methods for escape, new prisons, and lots more. Incarceration has never looked so adorable. Now, let's see what's happening this weekend.
Rainbow Six Siege is offering a free play opportunity now through Sunday the 27th. Just download the game and you're ready to go. How about a little, did you know? Did you know that you can download the Xbox app for use on your mobile devices? This allows you to track things like your achievements, message your friends, and see what Major Nelson's playing on vacation. I bet it's Overwatch. I use it regularly for the keyboard feature. It's fast and convenient to message friends. All you need is to head to settings, choose preferences, and then select Xbox app connections. From there, just select the options that best suit your needs. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for an all new episode. Thanks for watching.